The new game Dollhouse combines two of my favorite things, horror and old Hollywood, for an interesting concept. But is this one truly a star of stage and scream, or does it deserve to be Black Dahlia murdered? Dollhouse is a first-person perspective horror game where you're playing as a detective named Marie who's trying to piece back together her memory. You do this by traveling through labyrinths and finding old film reels and putting them back together, and doing so while being chased by an evil creature. The idea is surely an interesting one, and I would have been more engaged had the gameplay itself been a bit different from what it ends up being. This is one of those horror games where you have to run and hide from the creature instead of actually facing off with it. It uses the Slender Man idea of instead of collecting torn pages, you're collecting the film reels here. You have to collect a certain number of them in order to unlock the memories and then use them to unlock a door. Each one of the labyrinths that you go to have pretty much the same mission objective. You need to find a certain number of these reels, Use a memory extractor. Once you get the reel back after using the memory extractor, the machine has to cool down for a bit of time, all of which builds tension as a creature is stalking you, potentially could kill you at any moment. Once you have enough reels, you're able to unlock doors with them. Each door that you have to unlock with the reels requires, of course, a certain number of them. There's a main door that you're going to need to unlock during each one of the chapters. Once you do this, the next part of the mission begins. You'll have to complete a random task. The first one, for example, has you with this playground equipment and you have to stop it so that the bunny on it ends up being in the light. Then later on, you'll have to do one where you have to turn all the TVs so that they're on the right channel. Once you complete whatever task that is, you can then go back to the room that you unlocked and you'll get the master key that can then unlock a room. You'll deal with the film there, you'll get a score as well as you'll also get a bit of storyline that will be told to you before you then go back to the starting point from where you began the labyrinth. Rinse and repeat for each one of the chapters. There are other rooms that you can unlock using the film reel. For example, when you do so, you may solve a small puzzle in there and be rewarded with some bonus items such as extra stock or extra charges. The stocks and charges are how you use your special abilities, which at least is one of the interesting aspects here in Dollhouse. These range of abilities can affect the creature chasing you, can give you better speed, show you the locations of certain items, and you'll unlock a bunch of these as you progress and level up. Every task that you complete during the game, you're going to gain a little bit of experience and thus level up and be able to have more slots and stuff that you'll be able to switch out with your equipment stuff using the safe located in a variety of rooms in each chapter. The game does feature four difficulties, as well as an easy mode that you can go into where there's no threat, no creatures. You can just play through it to collect the items and see the story out if you would want to do that. The biggest problem with Dollhouse is it just doesn't do really enough to build that horror intention. We've seen this kind of idea before, like I mentioned, the Slender Man idea of collecting items while a creature is chasing you. And even when the creature gets you in this game, it's just kind of there. It just happens. You then restart and have to try things over again. And of course, it's frustrating once you're running around, you've potentially gotten near the end, got enough items, and then you end up getting taken out by the monster. Some of you that end up really getting into these kind of moments and potentially scream at the slightest jump scare may end up getting creeped out by the game, but for veteran horror fans, there's almost no horror to be found. One cool extra feature is the game does have a multiplayer online mode with up to 8 players being able to be involved, but unfortunately, it's a barren wasteland at the moment after launch, and I couldn't get a single game going over the last couple of days. From the technical side of things, the game didn't crash on me, there was some noticeable slowdown here and there, and I did get stuck in the environment on a couple of occasions, for once I got stuck in a piano just trying to grab items out of it. Dollhouse is available now for $39.99 on the PlayStation 4, and it does feature a Platinum Trophy. The game is also available on PC. Overall, Dollhouse has an interesting idea that just really ends up failing to deliver interesting gameplay. It plays okay, I'm sure some may end up getting scared a little bit by it, but the just repeated labyrinths, and it's just the same idea with a different wallpapering for each level, really didn't do enough to keep my interest in a game that is relatively pricey in today's market. 
At the price, it's hard to really recommend it to anyone. Wait for a sale for sure. I'm going to be giving Dollhouse on the PlayStation 4 a 4 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review, though. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.